Hi Aquarius, this is your love reading for Libra season, September 22nd through October 22nd. And we are, of course, already almost a week into Libra season now, so we will skip right into your energy and messages for Libra season 2018. The moon I meant to show you was uh, on the bottom of the deck. Um, I love the moon card, but particularly this time when it showed, I knew I had to leave it. I knew it was for your reading. I knew that energy wanted to be here. Um, so I do think that your love life is about gray areas this season, Aquarius, and I'll say our love li lives. Uh, my um, moon is, is in Aquarius. I, everything is not what it seems, but more, a better, more what I, what I really want to say, more of what I want to say is that there are just many angles from which to view what we have going on in our love lives this season. It's not cut and dry. It's not black and white. Um, it matters who's perceiving it and how they're perceiving it as far as defining what it really is. Which I suppose is true of all things and all relationships always. It's just particularly relevant for Aquarians. Um, it may be that we need to enjoy a uh, shift in our perception of of our relationship or our, our love life in general this season. The Seven of Crystals. Options and results, Aquarius. So this is the Seven of uh, Pentacles, the Seven of Coins, the, the Seven of Earth. Options I normally associate with the Seven of Cups. Um... But there is, of course, with the seven of earth energy, always the option to um, not to finish. So the, the seven of earth is often speaking of success to me, is often talking about um, being in the home stretch of finishing something and we're relating this to our love lives Aquarius so I think you're yeah you're very close to um, attaining the partnership that you want um, making things work in a relationship you've been working on um, This is giving me the, I'm getting the distinct feeling of that stage in a relationship where you're just about to become committed. You're just about to, um, you're just about to become exclusive is the word that I couldn't find. Um, And I think that that is the issue at hand um, for some of for some of us Aquarians, where we're wanting that commitment, we're wanting that exclusivity, and we're really close to getting it with a uh, divine masculine in our life. For some of us, we're specifically talking about a an Aries, or or we're referring to some of the Aries energy within ourselves, within our own birth chart. 
But for others, I'm just talking about um, a divine masculine element here, uh, a divine masculine person, partner. Um, and that's either you or the person that you're with or, or hoping to be with or hoping to find or meet. And it looks like you're, you're very close to, with this seven of earth. I feel like you're very close to, to, um, to, to finding that person or to, like I said, getting that commitment and exclusivity that you want from them. And, and, and I distinctly get the feeling for a lot of Aquarians that you've been seeing this person. I'm, I'm talking to a lot of Aquarians who've been seeing someone and we're just at that stage. Where, where things may become stable and their actions and, and uh, promises will let you know that their focus is on you um, or vice versa or someone is hoping for this from you and your divine masculine aspects are um, maybe dominant at this time or it's your divine masculine who's waiting on you to... to um, to give them a commitment. So it could go either way. And and with options showing up and standing out to me on this the, on the seven of earth, I do think that a lot of Aquarians we've also got the Queen of Swords here waiting to um, waiting for this reading so wanting to be on the table for this for this reading. Um, yeah, I do think a lot of Aquarians are, have many options, and maybe that's why you're about to find or uh, secure, stabilize things with the divine masculine that you're looking for, that you want, because you you have had and have many options. There is, of course, the option to not go ahead with a partnership. And so a lot of Aquarians are entertaining that line of thinking. Um, as I said, you know, there's always, with the Seven of Earth, though it, though it represents to me success, it also specifically represents that last stretch of work that must be done in order to attain success, right? So there is always the option for one to grow complicit, uh, grow bored, decide that it's taking too long, scrap the work entirely. Perhaps the fruits the, of the labor are about to be harvested and someone, you know, can fall asleep on the job and, and let things spoil or rot or what have you. Um, it, it, or just walk away from the job entirely, right? If that fits better for you there. Um, but The advice here is the three of crystals, the three of the three of earth, the three of pentacles, the three of coins, collaboration, productivity. Um, I, I see, I see collaboration standing out, um, and and with this divine masculine card showing up, what's what what comes to mind for me is this is the blending of the collab, the playful, uh, happy productive collaboration of the divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Now the Empress isn't showing up yet, but, um, I'm sorry if that music was too loud. I just took it down a notch. I was sort of like screaming over it. Didn't even think about it. Um, but yeah, so there's the option for some Aquarians to not go ahead with a partnership. And yet the advice is collaboration and productivity. Now, for some of you, the reason why you would choose not to go ahead with a partnership is because you're looking toward playful collaboration and productivity in a work environment, on a project that means a lot to you, um, some sort of, of, of work environment, maybe a creative work environment, um, that, that, involves work and activities that you love to do um, and you may choose that
over going ahead with it with a partnership Yeah, you are seeing Are seeing um, success and 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 moving forward with or attaining this commitment from this person. It's slow and steady. You're building slowly and steadily together. You have been building slowly and steadily toward this point, toward this commitment. And I'll let you. Um, yeah, the eight of wands showing in reverse as I'm talking about that. So very slow. Very slow movement. I'll let you look at this with me, Aquarius. Um, here's your your success. It has been and still is a slow and steady one. It's been uh, maybe a matter of a, a situation where the two of you just wanted to be careful to move into things slowly. And now some of you are um, a few Aquarians this season are going to be, I have to say, dealing with uh, fatherhood. Some of you are already are fathers, and that's why um, others are going to be finding out that they're becoming a father. So while things have progressed slowly in your relationship thus far, here's some big news. That's just for a select few Aquarians, okay? Um, hope you're saying okay. Uh, the Emperor, though, also is focused, stable energy, which is noted here in, in this particular deck, the Spirit Song Tarot deck by Paulina Cassidy. Um, it can be it can be fatherhood as i said it can be um a domination over over this area of your life but this is the energy that you're meeting which is why i do want to read it as as an aries or a and or a divine masculine right as a character who you're 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 meeting you're an energy that you're meeting but it can also be an energy that you're meeting because it's an energy that you find a need to step into or it's an energy that comes up in yourself out of yourself and you you know you have to deal with the fact that it, it has arisen um but it is a div divine masculine energy so it's either that that part of you is very relevant or that that is who you're you're partnering and dealing with this season romantically. Um, I really think that it's, it, for, for a lot of Aquarians, it is an Aries energy. Um, definitely for more Aquarians, it's an Aries energy than it's actually a divine masculine energy, okay? with it with the king of wands coming through it's like if you choose if you choose a work that you love to do over starting this relationship because of time constraints um you know that's you not choosing this this aries energy then if it's a If it's not an Aries energy and you have reason to believe and feel that it is your divine masculine that you've progressed very slowly and steadily with up to this point, um, they look ready to, to, and that's not to say that if it is an Aries, it can't be an Aries and your divine masculine. It certainly can be both. Um, 
but whether or not it is, I guess, in Aries, if you feel that this energy is your divine masculine and you have um, progressed slowly and steadily, steadily with them up to this point, they appear ready. Um, they're owning their part of the relationship. Um, it may be a Scorpio. maybe a significant Scorpio energy who is this divine masculine to you. Uh, but, but whether or not it is, I think that they've gone through a transformation then to get to that point. And that's why I'm phrasing it like that and saying it like that. They're ready. Maybe I mean to say they're ready now. It's taken a long time to get to this point, but they're ready to be the divine masculine half of this relationship. Um, in a real sense, you know, of course, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies within us, but they're ready to, to own up to, to their stake in this, in this partnership with you, um, make plans with you for the future, uh, own, own their, their responsibility, as I said, um, And you have the Eight of Feathers, which is the Eight of Air, or the Eight of Swords, showing up here on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is where you're headed for uh, the next season, uh, by Scorpio season. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Air, to me, is normally... Um, being trapped by one's own thoughts. Here noted is courage and solutions, which is what you're what you're looking for, and 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 looking for this season how you're you know limiting yourself with your own your own beliefs, trapped by your own thoughts. Maybe some of you do not see that you don't have to choose between a a potential partner, maybe even a divine masculine energy and work you love to do. There is a way to. Do, to spend time with spend some time with each um, give some time to each area of, of your life and this mouse pictured here in this particular version of the eight of air Aquarius. I do hope, hmm. Yeah, this mouse is just giving me the feeling that it feels so small in the face of of all that it has to to fit uh, in the face of all that it that it has to overcome um, you are dealing with divine masculine energy and major transformations major changes um, whether your own or someone very close to you, probably the partner you're engaging with at end this season. But this mouth showing up in the upright, you know, though it feels very small, it is showing courage in the face of, of, of the energy around it. Um, as will Aquarius in... Scorpio season 2018. Um, yeah, there's, there is, um, yeah, there is, a, uh, this is your card. This is our card, Aquarius, the star card. Um, 
are your are reading is way over time. So I'm going to speed through the end of this and then I have to let you go. But you're you're for those of you who feel like you have to choose between your divine masculine or a potential partner and the work you love to do, you have to give up one or another. There is this 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 energy in Scorpio season that you will be trying to find a solution that you could try to find a solution to that, okay? And and it has to do with you being unafraid to be yourself, communicate openly to this person and to people around you who you really are. There is shouldn't be any reason that you can't do both. Um, it, it means being honest with them about how you feel about them maybe or, or what it is you your goals are, what it is you want to do, letting them see all of you, all of your life, maybe sharing a space with them or something like that. Um, And, and you can you can do both. Uh, for others of you, you know, we were we were talking about perception at the beginning of this, and and it's 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 only this mouse, this any small creatures, small creatures um, perception um, about their their size relative to the world around them or um, what they're capable of. Uh, that that limits them or allows them to succeed in any area they like. Some of you are going to have to Aquarians lean into work you love to do to uh, this season and, and focus on that rather than missing the, your, your Aries energy, your, this, uh, fiery masculine energy in your life. Um, maybe Aries, it could be Sagittarius or Leo as well. Uh, uh, or, or just, or just a divine masculine energy in your life who, who is, uh, embodies fire sign traits, fiery qualities, intense, bold, charming, sociable, um, enthusiastic, um, because that we definitely have divine masculine energy undergoing major transformation. So for some of them, that's going to mean um, taking time to themselves, taking time away from you, changing the nature of the relationship. And I think for most Aquarians, that's in a positive direction. Like I said, everything's showing up right. It looks like this transformation has led them to a place where they're ready to meet you in that divine masculine energy. But for a few Aquarians, the message is coming through that, you know, you'll be looking for a renewal and a way to free yourself of... of limiting beliefs and um a victim mentality uh being trapped by your own thoughts and i think it's because you know this for some aquarians it leads this this transformation leads this masculine fiery energy away from you at least for a time and there's this advice to let them have their space uh leave them be if that's what they want and and focus instead on the work you love to do So um, I've gone over time. I've kept you too long, really, Aquarians. Um, that there are more messages still that that want to come through. They just um, there are more and more. I think I'll just draw one card. We also have success here as well, the Seven of Pentacles, in the Deviant Moon Tarot deck, and I will have information about all of the decks and the music and the other things in the description box below the video. If you're interested in that, then there's the Three of Pentacles. So the Seven and the Three just, just echoed. Yeah, there's a lot of energy, Aquarians, though this is a love reading. There's definitely a lot of, of um, Pentacles energy, a lot of, a lot of energy about suggesting that your and or your partner's financial life and world and realm is very much intertwined with with your your potential relationship or relationship so 
just one additional message. And it is the Seven of Swords. Is the additional message from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Um, that is a... And then there is the Empress. Okay, so something that I wasn't seeing about the, the reading before, I think, is that there's this puzzle piece where uh, the divine feminine aspect of this partnership in this reading um, has betrayed or is betraying someone in some way. Um, but that's not necessarily to say that they're cheating and lying. Of course, that would be the case for some Aquarians out there. Uh, and I also don't know if, if the listener is the divine masculine or feminine part of, of said relationship or potential relationship even. Um, <coughs> as I said earlier, we can all, we all have divine feminine and masculine within us and can all lean either way um, at different times but yeah there's this sense that that at some point the divine feminine energy in the relationship was betraying I think the other half the other partner uh, but but for some for for probably half of Aquarians it's actually a matter of their of them um, just having been lying to themselves about something Maybe, okay, for some Aquarians, maybe the fact that you could clearly see that your slow progress with your divine masculine was headed toward this major transformation and that they would have to be, leave you for a time. Maybe you knew that that was always, you know, plain to see uh, out in the open uh, and, and you, you know, progressed forward with, you know feeding into your own illusions about the situation when you knew that this was coming. Um, for others, though, for other other divine feminines, um, for, for other scenarios, like I said, it is the divine feminine not being totally honest about something within the relationship. What that is, is different for each Aquarian and or, you know, partner of an Aquarian. We'd have to dig into that in a personal reading. Um, yeah, I just, I just, because it's, it, it's, it's, it's a spectrum. It ranges all the way from, you know, major betrayal to, um, to something seemingly insignificant and harmless and it you know it's still showing up here for some reason but again it does it, it could be harmless in comparison and not necessarily mean that someone has cheated or, or, or outright lied and we could certainly you know that's something that we could certainly pull clarifiers on if it was a personal reading that's why I said that but for now we are way over even even uh We've gone longer than even the other readings where I went over Aquarians. So I will have to leave it at that for now. I do hope that that offered you all something, some insight, some help, uh, something that you didn't have before you came to the reading Aquarians. Thank you uh, for any likes on this video and subscribes to Lunatics Tarot. Welcome, Lunatics. And thank you for all of your comments, shares, messages, uh, all of your support through donations and orders. I'm truly grateful for all of our energy exchanges. If you are interested in a personal reading from me, all of my reading options are listed below in the description of this video, as well as the About section of Lunatics Tarot, um, the YouTube channel. You can email me uh, at lunaticstarot at gmail.com with any questions or information about readings, um, information to use in your readings if you request a personal one. Otherwise, if you would like more free content that's available for you right now, Aquarians, there are autumn readings up and I will link the air autumn readings uh, below in the description as well. And they are timestamped. So 
Those aren't specifically love readings, but you might be able to get messages that um, expand on what we've looked at here for some Aquarians because it, it will look at, um, in in general, and I said your your finances are, are intertwined with, with your love life here for sure, but it will... Um, it will look all the way through um, autumn 2018, so all the way through, you know, into December. So it, it very well may may intertwine with these messages for some. Um, and yeah, there are time stamp. There's there are three air readings within that recording, so you can find your own. And I love you, Aquarians. I loved reading for you, and I will post another tarot fix for you just as soon as I can.